Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel and in this video it is going to be a 3D thumbnail tutorial for beginners. For those of you that don't have Blender, for those of you that like don't want to use Blender, I don't know, like just for those of you that are beginners and for those of you that don't want to download Blender because you think it's too hard, uh, that's kind of what I'm here for. Obviously, I want to show you guys how to actually get uh, Source Filmmaker first. So, open up Steam. Open up Steam. Go to Store Filmmaker. Source Filmmaker right here. And if you don't have Steam, you should get a Steam account because they basically... It, I mean, if you have a PC, like if you have a gaming PC and you don't have Steam, I don't know who you are. But anyways, it's free, so that's good. And you just get it and, you know, you download it and do all that. <laughs> And that's it. If you're new to this, you probably don't have any, like, you probably don't have skins imported into Source Filmic. So, what you're gonna wanna do is, what you wanna do is go to Community, Workshop, and then from here, Workshop, you go Source Filmmaker, here it is. And then from here, uh, since we're doing Fortnite, we're gonna search up Fortnite, but there's a bunch of other stuff you guys could do for this. And here it is. You know, here it is, simple. So, we're gonna go on Most Popular. And obviously this is the most popular and you just click on one and you can just subscribe to it and there you go you're subscribed to it and it's gonna show up in the source filmmaker there is like two other things you need to do beforehand and I'm actually gonna show you one of them go back where it's source filmmaker where you could search up on the workshop and you type in green screen and there's gonna be green screen or it's called green room and uh, this one's the actual one that I have so I, uh, I suggest this one. So if you find this one, then then just get this one. Obviously, do the same thing. Subscribe to it, and that's it. And also, you're going to need light a Lightroom, which I'll actually leave a video down below on, like, how to get that. Once you guys are all done doing that, we can move on to Source Filmmaker. All right, so you can name your session anything. Leave this here. Frame rate doesn't really matter since you're not making a film. You're making a thumbnail. You're making a picture. Anyways, I didn't mess with anything else. Create. And as you can see, this pops up, especially when you have a new subscribed item this pops up so what you want to do is just press ok alright so th then what you want to do is load map and there's the white room I think I said light room earlier sorry my bad white room uh, anyways once you've downloaded that white room and you've done all the steps you should be able to see it right here or if not obviously you're gonna be like that so you're obviously you're just gonna search up white and it should be right there TF movie white room double click on that and it should load up alright so it should look like this it's cool like that then you're gonna want to go to the left of your screen and right click and then press create animation set for new model and then here's gonna show up all this stuff squares you're gonna show all your skins but right now we're not gonna look at the skins we're gonna look at we're gonna go to all mods and then search up green and then it should be this one tools green plane right here it should look like this double click on that and it's gonna look like this all right guys so we're gonna actually move it so what we want to do for that is go down here press this make it turn blue and then we're gonna press this one press control and you can see that static prop right there press it and now you can just move it and then we're just gonna try to get it aligned in the middle I just do it like this I don't know if it's really aligned in the middle but yeah so I'm gonna show you guys how to move around it's WASD so so S is just moving back W is moving forward A is to move left D is to move right so that's basically it but it's actually a little bit too small and sometimes the characters are just really big so that's why we have to make it bigger so go to your green plane press on that right click on it utilities then press add scale control to models press on the green plane again then right here it says root transform scale and just move it all the way up i mean like just move it all the way up once you're ready to have a model or your skin pop up then you can now go to create animation set for new model then go into your workshop and just search for your model. Let's just choose Siren since she has like a mouth where I could actually make her smile and stuff like that. So now once you have this, you can double click on it and it's going to show up like this. And sometimes it's going to show up like dark like this. And if it does, just go a little bit back and just right click over here and press new light. Press on the light and then right here in intensity, you can move it down. So now you can see her cl more clearly show you guys another thing if you guys press alt and then you guys drag down the screen you could see like basically a free move tool like that so i just want to show you guys that it's so you guys can move up but usually i but usually i just use w a s and d really 
I'm gonna show you guys how to move all the arms and all that. It's been 10 minutes. Holy. So press on your siren and it's gonna show up like this. Don't get intimidated by this. It's actually really, really easy. So press control, click on one of these, and now you can move it around like this and do simple hand movements. You guys could also bring in guns like this. So basically do the same thing. You just put in a new model and then grab a gun. Here, let's just grab the jump gun. And you, oh, it's pretty close up to the screen. So what you wanna do is click on the drum gun, click on this, and then just kind of drag it back, which is the red. And here it is. Now, now it's way more closer to her. And then smile and like all the face features because I know people want that. Because I know some, so I know a lot of people don't like actually show you how to do it like that, but I, I will. Control, click on one, and you're gonna be on this tool. And you're gonna go like this, so she's gonna be angry now. And you know, you can do the same thing to the other one, but obviously it's not gonna have much effect. And what I like to do is kind of have one of the eyelids a little bit higher or lower. And then when, with the mouth, how to make her smile, I usually just do this. I drag it up like that with this tool. I usually just do that and I have actually have her like open up their mouth just a bit. Oh, and if your model is way too big, do the same thing that we did for the green plane. Just go right click on your model, utilities, add skill control, and now you can move, or if you can even find it. Yeah, so just try to find the root transform scale, and then there you go, look. You can move her up and down, you could resize them. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys want a Blender tutorial, please leave that down in the comments below, but if you guys want a Photoshop tutorial on how to edit, like with the text and all that then uh, let's get this video to 20 likes and then i'll do that photoshop tutorial for you guys uh but other than that uh follow me on all my socials i will be posting a lot on there so twitter and instagram and all that so and like comment subscribe for more videos like this uh i know i said i wasn't gonna do a lot of tutorial videos but you know i ended up breaking that and you know i'll probably do couple more in the future i just want to help you guys out uh and want you guys to learn with me and i don't want you guys to think that it's a tutorial channel it is a gaming channel so uh anyways i'll see you guys later peace